Manage Engine NetFlow Analyzer is a web-based bandwidth monitoring tool which uses NetFlow packets exported from the router to generate reports. NetFlow Analyzer can work with devices that support NetFlow and some additional flows which are vendor dependent. When we say additional flows, we mean flows like NetStream, CFlow, JFlow, SFlow, IPFix, etc. NetFlow Analyzer uses NetFlow packets exported from the router to generate reports. Hence, the first part we have to make sure is that the NetFlow should be enabled on the router and these flow packets should reach the NetFlow Analyzer server. When flows are not reaching the server, you will see a similar page where it says no device is currently exporting NetFlow or SFlow packets to NetFlow Analyzer. Once the flow reach the server, the router and, and its interfaces will be auto-discovered. Now let's go through a product walkthrough. Once you log into NetFlow Analyzer UI, you will see the dashboard. This gives you a one quick view of the complete network. By default, you can view the network snapshot, which has three predefined dashboards. They are Network Snapshot, Pro Plus, and Top Stats. You can customize the dashboard as per your requirements. The dashboard can be customized by users to display widgets of their own choice. To create a dashboard, you can click on Actions and from the drop-down, click on New Dashboard. Now let's go to the next tab, Device tab. This tab displays information on all interfaces from which NetFlow exports are received. The default router list shows all the routers and its interfaces from which NetFlow export have been received so far along with their specific details about each interface. With this version of NetFlow Analyzer, we have introduced a grid view. In this view, we will be able to easily differentiate between the NetFlow, SFlow exporting devices and ASAs. You can click on the device name and drill down to see the particular device based top 10 interface based utilization and speed. You can also see the top protocols, application, source, destination, conversation, DHCP, etc. You can export this particular device based report as PDF or CSV by clicking on the icon available on the top right corner. Now, back to the device tab. The interface name column lists all the interfaces on a discovered device. The status column indicates the current status of that interface. The in and out traffic columns shows the utilization of in and out traffic on the respective interfaces for the selected time period. Now let's drill down to an interface to view the traffic details for the interface. The traffic tab shows real-time traffic graphs for incoming and outgoing traffic. The graph and the data points can be viewed as 1, 5 or 15 minutes average. This can be selected from the option available on the top left. Tabs about the tra traffic graph let you view the graph in terms of volume, speed, link utilization and the number of packets involved. You can see traffic graphs for different time periods by choosing the appropriate values from the time period box. Use the from and to boxes to choose custom time periods for the graph. NetFlow Analyzer brings you the added advantage of drilling down to the traffic graphs presented by the mouse over options. Now let's switch over to the application tab. This displays all the application that passes through a specific interface for a selected period of time. You can choose between in and out to display the application-wise distribution of incoming or outgoing traffic. The applications for these ease of monitoring can be grouped as application group or and top sites. The list of applications are ordered to show the top applications that contribute to maximum network traffic, along with the volume of traffic and the total percentage of network traffic it occupies. Clicking on the application name will open the detailed report of all the conversation. The conversation detail report lists the number of resources accessed the specific application. It gives details of conversation like source, 
destination, application type, ports involved, protocol, DSCP, volume of traffic, and percentage of traffic. Top sites. This reports the application contributing to maximum network traffic. And expanding the uh, application displays the name of website and names of top 10 machines in your network if the DNS is resolved in both the cases. The protocol distribution link helps you to see the top protocols for the selected interface. You can choose between in and out to display the protocol wise distribution for incoming and outgoing traffic respectively. The source and destination tab shows top source and top destination hosts contributing to the traffic in the selected time period. Choose between in and out to display the top host in incoming or outgoing traffic. QoS or quality of service which is the most important factor that determines how effectively the available enterprise bandwidth is being used in the van. The QoS feature by default lists all top DSCP in report. Clicking on the show application list lists out various DSCP values along with the list of applications that comprise the DSCP. It also lists out on traffic and personal utilization of the total traffic by each of the application and DSCP group as a whole. Next is a conversation tab. This shows the top conversations contributing to a traffic in a selected time period. Similar to all the other tabs, you can choose between in and out to display the top conversations incoming or outgoing traffic. Now let's move on to the reporting part. You can generate PDF, CSV, or email the report for all the men above mentioned tabs. Uh, tabs like traffic, application source, destination, QoS conversations. You can also schedule a report for the mentioned tabs that, re that the report will be emailed to you on a daily or a monthly basis. You can also make use of the more report options to generate the reports. The troubleshoot report link lets you select a criteria and view specific details about the traffic across a single interface. Data for troubleshooting report is taken directly from the raw data. Consolidated report lets, lets you see all the traffic details for an interface at a glance. The compare device feature lets, you, lets the user compare multiple devices for the same time period or compare the same device over a different time periods. Example every day, every hour, every week, or every month. Search report can be used to generate reports specific to the user. This is especially useful in finding out the ba bandwidth utilized for a specific host or application. Watch reports. Watch reports gives you details on central manager you have created and the details associated with it. You can access watch reports using module tab. Select Cisco was from the module tab. Here you can view the reports based on hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, along with custom reports. The accelerator group gives you a list of was accelerator engines grouped together for easy identification purpose. You can also view their reduction percentage, status, and a brief description about the group. Report profiles allow user to create customized reports using extensive filter options. The profiles created are saved for future use, thereby reducing the time consumed for generating reports. Report profile options provides high level of customization and easy generation of reports. Medianet reports. This section lets you view reports on Medianet metrics. The data is presented has an easy to understand charts and graphs. The reports are generally individually for each section selected. The reports are generated based on the metrics each session is associated with. IP groups. This feature lets you monitor departmental, internet, or application traffic exclusively. A set of four IP groups have already been defined and have been named as mail sites, social network sites, sports sites, video sites. These contains IP address of well-known websites. You can create your own IP group 
based on IP address or a combination of port and protocol. You can choose to monitor traffic from a specific interface across different routers. After creating an IP group, we can view the top applications, top protocol, top host, and conversations in this IP group alone. Alerts. We can generate alerts based on thresholds. For example, if you wish to get alerted, if a particular interface goes above 70% in utilization continuously for three minutes, you can create an alert in such a way that in the defined criteria, you have to select in traffic. After this, under defined threshold and action, select utilization. And define the criteria as 70% three times in three minutes. Now, you will get alerted when the utilization of the link goes above 70% utilization continuously for three minutes. All the features mentioned above is available with the professional edition of NetFlow Analyzer. Now, let's see the additional features available with the professional plus edition of NetFlow Analyzer. Capacity planning, which can be found on the top right under the traffic tab. This helps you understand the traffic trend over a period of time. This in turn helps you to predict the traffic growth in your network and if traffic growth is business critical. This also helps you to take informed decisions for upgrading bandwidth pipes in your network. NBAR, Network Based Application Recognition, is an intelligent classification engine in Cisco IOS software that can recognize wide variety of applications like web-based and client-server applications. It can analyze and classify application traffic in a real time. This helps in ensuring that the network bandwidth is used efficiently. CBQS, or class-based quality of service, provides information about the QoS policies applied and the class-based traffic patterns within an enterprise network, thus helping us how effectively we have applied the policies in your network. Billing. This feature helps keep a tab on resource usage. It makes easy to understand the reports in terms of cost occurred. Internally, organizations can use this feature for department-wise billing. Also, internet service providers can use this to automatically generate reports for their customers. You can create the bill plan from here and associate the interface or an IP group to the bill plan that the separate builds will be generated for each customer. You can build the customer based on both volume or speed. Now, let's look into the add-on features available with both professional and professional plus editions of NetFlow Analyzer. IPSLA consists of both VoIP monitoring and WAN round-trip time monitoring. VoIP monitoring does continuous monitoring of key performance metrics of VoIP network to determine its health. The parameters measured include jitter, latency, packet loss, etc. The WAN RTT monitor is used to monitor WAN availability, latency, and quality of service. Alerts are triggered when set of thresholds are violated, thus enabling the administrators to attend the fault in no time. ASAM or Advanced Security Analytics module is a flow-based network security analytics tool that helps detect and classify network intrusions. It offers intelligence to detect a broad spectrum of external and internal security threats using continuous stream mining engine technology. ASAM analyzes NetFlow packets in real time and matches multiple events without duplication. It also offers continuous overall assessment of network security. Now that we have seen all the reports available with professional and professional plus editions of NetFlow Analyzer, let's have a look into the setting options of NetFlow Analyzer. The settings option includes several server configuration settings that you can configure from user interface. Server settings, which also includes the option of the DNS related settings, enabling secondary DNS lookup, the server settings, which gives you options for changing or adding more listener ports for NetFlow, uh, the web server port and the top record counts to be stored. Performance tuning, one of the new options available, help you tune the database and Java for better performance. 
flow filter settings which helps us to modify the changes based on ESP traffic or GRE traffic available in the network and also if any output suppression filter or access control filters applied on the network we can go ahead and change the settings from here. The radio server settings which is used for authentication can be done from here. Storage setting. Storage setting consists of the raw data settings, one minute storage settings, and barn CBQS storage setting and user data storage. Raw data. This raw data is used for troubleshooting and port level information. Since the raw data will occupy the major hard disk space, we show the recommended raw data storage settings from here. You can increase or decrease the raw data settings according to your wish. The one minute storage settings also can be done from here. The mail and proxy server settings has to be configured from here. The proxy server settings, if your network has a proxy server that the mail should be sent by passing this proxy server, then you can fill up the settings here. Or else if you do not have a proxy server in your network, you don't have to fill in the information. Google map settings, you can assign or locate your routers in a Google map view and you can assign the routers from here. The WAS settings, the central manager settings can be done from here and uh, the mappings of the WAE devices can be done from here. And also the application WAE mapping can be done from the settings. The user management option lets you manage different users varying access privileges. You can assign different users to different device groups and IP groups and allow them to manage the assigned groups exclusively. You can choose from three types of users in NetFlow Analyzer, Administrator, Operator, and Guest. You can create any number of users for each type and assign them to any number of device groups and IP groups. The License Management option lets you manage the interfaces exporting NetFlow data to NetFlow Analyzer depending on the license that you have purchased. Thus, we come to an end of uh, the online demo for NetFlow Analyzer. If you have any questions on NetFlow Analyzer, please feel free to call us at plus one four zero eight nine one six nine five nine five or mail us at netflowanalyzer-support at managerengine.com. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.